SQL that you must already be aware. And let us now see how to do the same thing in EF core using the link functions. For this, I will assume that my model looks something like this, that we have a public class doctor profile and there is a primary key there, ID. There is a property called name. There is a property called fees also. And in, and in addition, there is a foreign key for doctor email that comes from another table called login info. So this is what is the model that we will be discussing. And let us also suppose that we have our project context in place. And this project context, it contains a DB set of doctor profile, a property called doctors, which gives me access to all the doctor profile objects in the table. Now my objective is to select, uh, to search, to obtain all the records that meet a certain condition. So how do we do that? Let us suppose I have my context ready through underscore CTX. Through dependency objection, I have obtained my context. Then I will write context dot this property doctors. And this gives me access to the whole table. And in this let us suppose I want to search for various records dot where this query condition it goes to q dot fees more than 300. Let us suppose we want to search for all records for which the fees property is more than 300. This fees property I am talking, we want to search all the records. Now, when I write it like this context or doctors dot where something, then this is a query. This is simply an expression of query. It is not executed yet. It is not executed yet. To execute this query, we need to do either of the things. First, we let us suppose I call this variable as where q where I'll not, where x is equal to let us say underscore ctx dot doctors. This x is a query. If I want to execute this query and obtain the whole collection of records, the list of all the records that meets this criterion, then I will have to write in the next statement x dot to list. This gives me the whole collection and executes the query. So the query is this is the query. It is executed in this x dot to list. Another thing, sometimes we can chain it also. You must already have seen that we chain it many times underscore ctx dot doctors dot where that condition then put another dot then put another dot along the same statement to write it as dot to list. And now if I write where L is equal to then L is the entire list that meets this criterion. The there is another way of executing the query also one this way is to write a for each where any variable where I'll say x in ctx dot doctors dot where so where x in ctx dot doctors dot where this will also execute the query and you will get x as the doctor profile object on each iteration of this query. The important thing that I'm stressing is that query execution occurs here and here. You can use either of them depending on the requirement. Now, there is another thing that you must have seen here that I've written include. Now, let me again write this code a bit sm in small where L is equal to underscore ctx dot doctors dot where this condition and let me also say that I have written dot to list also. This means now on this L this this particular uh, sequence 
this is my list so let me say i take out the first object out of this list or i execute a for each let me make it a bit simple where d in l now on this d because i am executing a for each on the list in this d this is one doctor profile instance on this d i should get id i should be able to read the value of id i will get name also i will get fees also but if i try to get this doctor email or this further properties on login let us say i try to get d dot d dot login dot some other property of login info that is if i try to access the related table of this login info in this for each i will get a null why is this null because ef core due to optimizations will not load all the